today's video, we've got something truly special lined up for you. Get ready to dive into the must-have Skyrim mods you absolutely cannot miss in October 2023. From jaw-dropping visuals to immersive gameplay enhancements, we've got it all covered. So, without further ado, let's jump right in. Let's start by introducing No Opposite Gender Animations NG. This mod, an SKSE plugin without an ESP, dynamically removes the opposite gender animation flags for all characters, ensuring that they use animations appropriate to their gender. For example, characters like Lydia, Miol, Uthgird, and all female orcs use male animations. This mod now corrects these characters to use female animations as intended. Now, with this plugin, you can cultivate a more feminine portrayal for your female characters. Next up is Higher Poly Vanilla Dragons. This mod reworks the dragon meshes with a higher polygon count to complement high-resolution textures. According to the creator, vanilla dragons have about 17,000 triangles. But with this mod, that number increases to approximately 58,000. Since it maintains the vanilla texture paths, it's compatible with other dragon retexture mods and requires no plugin or ESP. If you're looking to replace them with high poly versions, give it a try. Next up is Verolevy's Vanergand Animations 2, Sprint. Following the release of Vanergand Animations 2, Idle Walk and Run on the Nexus site, the Sprint animation has now been unveiled. This new series seems to have brought more dynamic movement to the character's arms. Given its popularity among a considerable number of players, I believe many of you may also prefer this animation. If you're considering a renewal with Vanergand Animations 2, be sure to add this for further refinement. In this segment, I'll introduce a few of the latest hot replacer mods that you should keep an eye on. First, we have Whiterun Has Walls. This mod strengthens and raises the walls of Whiterun, Skyrim's central trading hub. The original walls were old and deteriorated, but this mod fixes them, enhancing the city's atmosphere. It maintains the same size as the vanilla mesh and doesn't alter the nav mesh, ensuring excellent compatibility with other mods. Next up is Imperial Tense Animated. This mod uses Base Object Swapper to replace the mesh of Imperial Tents, making them appear to sway in the wind. It targets both large and small Imperial Tents, adding a lively touch to Skyrim's atmosphere and camp environments. Moving on to Small Nordic Tent Animated, it builds upon JP Steel 2's Small Nordic Tent Replacer by adding animated effects. Like the previous mod, it's based on Base Object Swapper, showcasing the tent's fabric swaying in the wind for a more dynamic atmosphere. You can choose from various textures to suit your preferences. Next up is Fixed High Poly Nordic Metal Grate. This mod improves the model and texture of the Nordic Metal Grate, corrects collisions, and adds depth. With this mod, for example, you'll be able to shoot arrows through the gaps in the grate, it offers a similar functionality to what was previously introduced in the FYX, Imperial Doors Collisions mod, but recent improvements in mesh collisions like these are becoming more widespread. Next up is Iconic's Werewolf and Werebear Retexture. This mod enhances the appearance of both werewolves and werebears. It offers high-quality textures in both 4K and 2K resolutions, along with a variety of eye colors to choose from. Being provided in FOMOD format, you have the option to install it selectively, and you can also choose the eye color. Lastly, we have Wrighton Windhelm. This mod enhances the textures of Windhelm's buildings and adds parallax effects. Created by the talented modder Wrighton, it offers high-resolution textures, 1K, 2K, 4K, to amplify the details and realism of Windhelm's architecture. Utilizing parallax mapping, it achieves an impressive three-dimensional effect. 
Upgrade your Skyrim experience to a higher quality with these mods. Next up is Additional Dramora Faces. This mod provides a variety of faces for Dramora, including the addition of female Dramora with their own unique voices. Additionally, it introduces human eyebrows or beards, vampire eyes, and various hairstyles for Dramora. With a total of 216 distinct faces, this is a great opportunity to add diversity to your Dramora. Moving on to the Dramora Lines Expansion mod. By default, Dramora have very limited and repetitive dialogue. This mod improves upon that. It offers not just one, but six additional voices, each Dramora you meet or summon, having their own voice and lines. These lines were recorded by talented voice actors using professional recording equipment. This mod requires the previously mentioned additional Dramora faces and allows for a wide range of customization, including voices and dialogue in addition to Dramora faces. In this segment, I'll introduce noteworthy outfits and outfit customizations that have garnered attention recently. First up is Coco's Deliciously Bride. The Coco series is so well known that I probably don't need to explain it to you anymore. This outfit provides a unique set of wedding-themed attire. The standout features of this outfit are, of course, the pronounced body lines and physics effects. From the headpiece to the skirt, every part of this outfit has dynamic physics applied, including thigh and chest compression effects. It's truly an astonishing ensemble. If you haven't tried this outfit yet, now might be the perfect time to do so. Next up is the Nightshade Mistress outfit. This outfit adds a vampire-themed armor. It provides high-quality 2K textures and is compatible with 3BA body slide. This outfit comes in various colors and exudes a strong suit-like vibe. Enjoy a more exciting Skyrim with this diverse range of outfits. Lastly, we have the combination of Cardia of Rhodes Armor and the Cosplay Pack outfit. This combination involves wearing the Cardia Armor C and gauntlets to cover the shoulders and arms with the Cardia Armor. The rest, from the chest to the legs, is adorned with the Cosplay Pack, accentuating the character's figure. Finally, Adding the Waffenrock enhances the medieval vibe. However, be aware that the thigh stockings might not be visible, as they may overlap with the Cardia armor partitions. In such cases, you'll need to open SS Edit, go to the armor add-on, and uncheck all partitions in Nice Cardia Armor CAA's first-person flags, except for 32 body. As we wrap up this showcase of the must-have Skyrim mods for October 2023, remember that these creations are the lifeblood of Skyrim's ever-evolving world. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more exciting Skyrim adventures and mod highlights. Share your thoughts in the comments below, and let's keep the Skyrim community thriving. Until next time, happy modding and may your Dragonborn adventures be filled with endless enchantment.